Welcome back again to our channels and from now on pag-uusapan natin yung frequently asked question about Philippine identification system or identific Philippine identif identification card. So first is what is the public act number 11055. So yung public act number 11055 or the Philippine Identification System Act was signed by President Rodrigo Ruan Duterte on August 6, 2018. So, it is an act establishing a single national identification system aims to provide a valid proof of identity for Philippine citizens and residents aliens of the Philippines. So, ayan o. So, yung Republic Act is ito yung batas na nag nagpo-provide or nag uh, sign by the Duterte na kailangan magkaroon ng national ID. So again that was signed on August 6, 2018. So what is PELSIS? So pag sila sa pating PELSIS, the Philippine Identification System or the PELSIS referred to the government central identification platforms for all Filipino citizens and residents aliens of the Philippines. So, kasali dito yung mga aliens. So, you see aliens, ito yung mga hindi Filipino but still naninirahan sila sa Pilipinas. So, for example, yung mga Chinese. That is considered as aliens. And now, what is PSN? So, ito po ay isang abbreviation ng PILSIS number or a PSN. So, it is a unique and randomly generated 12-digit permanent identification number that is assigned to every citizen or resident alien upon successful registration to PELSIS. So, ito po ay automatically na ibibigay sa atin pag after natin mag-sign uh, or maka-sign in or maka-registered uh, sa step 1 ng PELSIS. So, dapat ano ko muna uh, maging success, successfully registered ng step 1 o patapos ng step 1 para maka, magkaroon ka ng PSN o PELSIS number. So, again, ang PELSIS number ay ito ay unique. Wala ka dapat kaparihan ng number. So, what is field ID? So, you, the field ID refers to the physical ID card that serves as a valid proof of identity that can be used to transact with the government and the private sector. The card is not transferable and is issued upon successful registration to the PELSIS. So, and dapat siya, uh, ano yan siya? Uh, hindi siya pwede i-transfer. And uh, dapat ano siya? Um, may yung number is hindi siya magkapari-pariho. And then, how long is the validity of Phil ID? So, it is the one of the good news in uh, ID, which is the Philippine National ID. Kasi if you are a Filipino, or if you are a Filipino citizen, the Phil ID has no expiration. So, and will only be renewed upon updating of demographic information and biometric information. So, i-renew mo lang siya if like sa example uh, nag ano ka, naging married ka na or in mo yung uh, blood type mo kasi gusto mo ilagay yung blood type mo. Then, the time na pwede, ka nang, pwede mo siyang i-renew. And also, pwede mong i-renew like example, ikaw is isang uh, babae, so naasawa ka, so pwede mong i-renew again siya pag o pag, ay, pwede mo siyang i-renew it is because uh, pwede mo, palitan mo yung, yung uh, affiliate oh. so yun yung mga reason na pwede mo siyang i-update and then for residents, aliens the field ID is valid for one one year and be renew annually, so ayan, every year sila mag-renew yung mga aliens uh, annually magre-renew then the next is uh, is registration to PELSIS PELSIS mandatory so sa registration to PELSIS is not mandatory as stated in the law 
in the low it is RE11055. So however, since the palace is will be used for the issuance and provision of the government's service, it is strongly recommended for citizens to register. So even in the Isha mandatory, it is strongly parent na ni recommend yung mga citizen na mag-register kasi for the purpose lang naman po na for the purpose na for the students probation for the government services no kasi there is a lot of other kasi benefits if you have the Philippines National ID so next is what are the requirements or the documents needed for registration to PLCs so meron tayong tatlo na papapilian meron tayong primary and the secondary and then yung nas if wala kang choice sa dalawa so the registrant is required to bring the original copy of any of the following primary documents so again any at least one lang no? baka lahat lahat mamay end hindi na mo lahat so baka mamaya pag wala pasal sa isa hindi mo na kumuha so hindi mo pa kumuha ng example may PSE ka na tapos kung wala lang si SIS kasi wala kang si SIS so hindi dapat gano'n dapat isa lang yung dalhin mo so you can bring a uh, PSE uh, issued certificate of library and one government issue identification document which bear fully name front facing photograph and signature or tamak so dapat pag may PSE ka dapat meron ka ding dala na, na, dala na identification card which is from the government or issued from the government which is nakalagay dyan yung poll name and then also yung front facing photograph and also signature or tamak so kung walang tamak so at least malang may signature or much better na may tamak so next next sa ating primary is the Philippine Passport or e-passport issued by the Department of Foreign Affairs or the DFA so ayan yun, yun yung primary natin and then next is pang pangatlo natin na primary is ang GSIS or SSS issued unified multi-purpose identification card or the UMID the number 4 is land transportation office or the LTO issued student license so pag meron kang license na at least student so okay na yun Issued student license permit or non-professional or professional driver's license. So again, yung sa apat na yan, pwedeng, uh, ito, lang, ito lang yung number one yung dalihin mo. Ito yung PSC issued certificate of live birth on or else madala ka ng ID mo. Okay na yun. Ganong kadali ang pag, uh, ano lang, ang, pag, uh, ganong, ganong kadali ang requirements ng PLCs. Then, punta naman tayo sa Secondary sense. So, if the registrant does not have any of the above mentioned documents, he or she may bring original copy of the following secondary documents. So, ayan. Dito pa nakalagay pa rin yung PSA and then or NSO. So, ayan yung dati kasi yung PSA. Ang tawag din sa kanila ay NSO. So, when we see PSA, Philippines na, uh, Statistic Authority. So, yung dati is, that is National Statistic Office. Issued certificate or library. So, ito po yung pinatang dalhin. So, so, ito. So, yung sa NSO, at least nalaman lang meron kang birth with, uh, library with birth reference number or brand. And yung number 2 sa discondary is the LCRO, Issued Certificate of Library. Then, number 3, PSE Issued report of birth number four PSA a short certificate of foundling uh, number five integrated bar of the Philippines or AB, IBP certification card number six is professional regulatory commission or I, uh, PRC ID or if you are already registered as professional like for you are a teacher you are already passed the PRC or the board exam so if you have already ID or in the profession na napasahan mo if you don't ID so pwede mo yung dalhin and next is the Siemens book then overseas worker welfare administration OWA or OWA then citizens 
ID, uh, senior citizens ID then SSS ID identifying tawi pemilihan Filipino programs or for peace ID then license to own or possess firearms or the LTF LTO PF ID and then NBI clearance police clearance solo parents PWD ID voters ID postal ID taxpayer identification number or TIN ID Fell Health ID Philippine Retirement Authority or PRA Issued Special Resident Retiree or Visa or SRRB The number 22 National ID from other countries Then Residence ID from other countries So, ayan ang dami ng ang dami ng pwede mapili natin na requirements na pwede natin dalhin So, sa, grabe naman sa dami na yan wala kang requirements o wala kang isa dyan sa 22 na yan wala kang isa talaga dyan grabe naman so and then so pag wala ka talaga dyan sa ano sa dinami dami dyan so mayroon naman tayong uh, other option so the following identification documents shall be accepted as secondary supporting documents provided that they have a front facing photograph signature or tamar full name permanent address and date of birth so ayan pwede natin galihin ito pag wala tayo dun sa primary at saka secondary ito yung pwede natin dalhin na mga uh, documents or um, ID so one of those this is employee ID so like example nag-work ka like example nag-work ka lang sa barangay so pwede mong dalhin yung um, ID mo kung may ID ka sa barangay then next is school ID if you're a student so you, you should bring your ID so like example if may, meron kang ID sa library and then also meron kang ID saya as school ID so pwede mong talin yung dalawa para hindi para insure, para sure talaga then next is barangay clearance slash certificate and then last is barangay ID and then next is city or municipality ID so last question or the frequent question asked is what is the minimum age for registration for to felsis so registration to felsis is often to all age age ages even to newborn children so pwede natin i-register kahit yung uh, bagong panganak na isang panabata so for children below 5 years 5 years old only the demographic information and fan facing photograph will be collected under PSN will be linked to the parent or legal guardian so the demographic data or complete biometric information will be captured at the time of registration but they will have to update and have their biometric recaptured once they reach at the age of 15 so pag 5 years old o pag bata pa yung pina or pinapply natin for the national ID siya naman po ngayon ay mag uh, re-update o mag-update ng tawag ito ng kanyang uh, information or yung kanyang uh, biometrics or capture o uh, biometric capture once the each uh, reach the age of 15 so pag 15 years old na siya mag ano naman siya mag recapture ng kanyang biometrics so ayan no, yung mga frequent questions so if any questions that you have in, uh, that you have right now you can comment down in the comment section para masagot natin sa ating next video so that's all for today video thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe this is Tony Lipia and Salazar thank you for watching